All right, in this video, I'm gonna make another tutorial on how to make a best, well, best way to make a flight plan for Microsoft Flight Simulator and Pilot 280C. Also, I'm gonna use a couple new toys I got. Uh, the uh, Pushback Express, I'm gonna see how that thing works. And self-loading cargo, that's pretty cool too. So let's get started. So first thing, flight plan. We're gonna put our departure airport. So we're gonna start from Innsbruck and fly to Rome. And again, the reason I do that like this here is so I can get the weather that I'm gonna have in the sim to choose the correct departure and uh, arrival runway. So in Innsbruck it's 180. So it's from the bottom. So runway 26 will be fine for departure, arrival. The wind is 54. So it's coming somewhere from here. So runway seven, uh, runway seven will be a nice runway for uh, the arrival. So once we know that, once we know the weather, we can go to SimBrief and uh, make a new flight plan. So depart, Innsbruck, arrival, Rome, and alternate, I just chose that. Airframe, so we're gonna fly a uh, Airbus 320. We're going to depart runway 26, arrive runway 7, great. Flight level, um, yeah, it kind of goes to the east, so and it's a long flight, so I'm gonna put 33,000 feet. I guess that's correct. Okay, and, and actually this flight plan already pops up here, but and I just always click here, generate, generate flight plan. Okay, and it tells us, I believe how much fuel I need for that flight and our flight plan. Now, so we should be, we should copy this stuff over here. I'm gonna see if DCT is a waypoint or is that an actual part of departure from Innsbruck? We'll find out soon enough. But the rule would be to copy the stuff in the middle. Now we go to our uh, Pilot 280C, import flight plan. And that window always opens hidden on the other monitor. Now we go and drag that over here. So departure, flight plan, paste, arrival, and select SimBrief and import. Okay, now let's see if there are any departures out of here so we're gonna choose this right and we are going to depart from runway 26 yeah there isn't 
much in sense of departures here. Okay, how about, again, this is unscripted, so how about I copy that first waypoint? It might be a waypoint and not a departure. And again, we go to pilot to ATC, import. And I think it's always gonna open hidden on the other monitor. So we are going to paste that the whole thing and it's, let's see what this does. Let's see how this works for us. Ah, oh, I know what's going on. This probably means direct direct DCT there's no DCT it just means direct to Berno so depart and direct to Berno that's okay or whatever maybe there isn't any specific departure way there should be with all the mountains I'm surprised but yeah runway 26 Probably nobody really flies that direction, that's why they didn't do it. Right, because that, that makes sense, that departure makes sense. You go between the mountains somewhere else. Right. That one makes sense. Are they all the same kind of? And an RTX, well that appears yeah that you make a turn around so they don't advise anybody flying there <laughs> yeah so this is this is yeah that that is probably for somebody more professional that you know knows more about charts and stuff i suppose we could choose this departure with wi57 like by this time we should be high enough i think by this time we should be high enough to turn south right because we'll be about here to turn south towards there now that there is no transition that's the whole thing you gotta take the whole thing well, I really wonder how a real flight would be. How a real flight would go. Would they fly to RTT, which is closer, and then turn there around? And then from RTT... Yeah, okay, well, we're gonna take this. We're gonna take this departure. Why not? Load. Let's see what it looks like. Right, that will give us, oh, okay, that means we gotta make a U-turn here. Well, that's interesting, well, we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. Cause see, like, I, I don't know if we're gonna have enough altitude to, to do one of these guys. Bren, I'm sure there's a restriction there. Um, 
much, you know, there is no restriction. Okay, well, let's do that, sure. That, that is difficult, unusual. Probably with charts and whatnot, we could plan something different, but I'm gonna just go like that. Uh, now that should be pretty easy, arrival. Of course, oh no, there it is, sorry. So we're going to arrive at runway seven. And we are going to, oh, it actually, again, they already told us, oops. Right 1K deep arrival, right 2K is fine. Right 2K arrival and uh, yeah, load. Nice. And runway seven. Okay, fine. VOR DME approach. No ILS, but that's okay. Could go R enough. Well, I'm gonna have to, but R enough doesn't work. And transition. CMP transition. So it should go this way, something like that. And I will try to keep manual restriction here. Okay, load. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So that's our flight plan. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna see how it works out. So now, now that we have that, I can save it. Uh, sure. And export it. And that window again hidden on another monitor. Not sure why it does that. Okay, so that's our export window. Yeah, low it to real, Lirf, export. And it's been exported. And this is it. And we can put that on another monitor and just let it be there. So we need 5,000 kilos of fuel. Okay, and the flight will take approximately seems one hour, an hour and a half, an hour and a half block to block. Okay, all right. So we got the plan. So we're gonna set up the airplane first. Sure, I fly the KLM. Now we need 5,000 kilos. So, yeah, it's about... There should be plenty of fuel. Yeah, actually even... Yeah, that's fine. That, that's plenty of fuel. Let's be nice and heavy. And a little too heavy, so let's take a little bit weight out of here. Really? There we go. And we add a little bit weight here. There. And again, remember that number, which is 19 and a quarter. 
maybe I will manage to remember it. 19 and a quarter. Okay, close. Make sure our traffic is good. Weather, life, weather, time 11 o'clock. Oh, one more thing I actually just noticed I screwed up. In the flight plan, I didn't change the altitude. And since we're flying a little bit to the east, I'm gonna put 33,000 feet. I will update it here and I'm going to export it. I'm gonna save it again. Say yes, export. Oh my goodness, a freaking window. Export. Same name, export again. Actually, I'm going to choose the overwrite existing file. Export. Okay, so now we can uh, load the actual real flight plan. And that should be it right here. Open. Oh, that looks, that looks good. And we're not gonna choose nothing else in here other than, as always, the departure, which is gonna be, I mean, not to choose it from the map, important, right? We're just going to choose it. I think ramp four would be good. I think they are bigger, yeah, like ramp four. There I go, make sure nothing has changed, which it didn't. Airplane is set, flight plan is set. From parking, yup, 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 and fly. Okay, we are in the airplane. I'm gonna turn on a couple other toys. I'm going to turn on the Pushback Express, which uh, Basically, looks like something like that. Okay, and you choose your stuff from here, which we will shortly. And I'm going to start self loading cargo. And there it is. So, I have some passengers. Now, in here, we need to fill out a few things. Gonna put uh, airlines today is KLM. Flight number 1497. Cruise, alti cruise altitude 33,000 feet from Innsbruck to Rome. Departure time, so it's 4.30. I think I should be ready by 4.45 and it was about an hour and a half flight so 6.15 6 that's, that's tight Well, let's try see how that goes. Worst case scenario, you're going to be late. Right, so it's not the end of the world. And start flight. And there we go. Now, the first thing I want to do so it's already taking place. I want to turn on my batteries, get the power, 
start my APU and turn uh, on my IRS so they align. Now that this is done, we can start boarding passengers. Okay, let's see if that works. So this is, uh, that ramp should come here. The doors should open and the passengers should start boarding. Let's see how that works. It doesn't. Okay. Let's hope we can at least open the doors. Yeah, that works. So they're just gonna be basically hopping onto the yeah, airplane well. there. And there they are. They started boarding. Uh, we can... Uh, I don't want fuel, but we can start with baggage. Nice. And we can get some catering. Catering truck gonna come over or on strike? That doesn't seem he wants to come over. Okay, whatever. Now, what's nice about it is sometimes people are getting through the other doors as well. Ah, uh, well, not through the baggage door, I guess. Maybe if the catering truck came, it would open that door. But that's okay. All right, so we got this done. Start the APU. Turn on all the pumps. Kill all the switches, all the white lights, I mean. Yeah, for whatever reason, the catering truck doesn't want to come here. It's probably stuck, wedged itself between the wing here. Oh, no, there we go. There he comes. Cool. Maybe I had to push him a little bit more. Okay. So... Bring this, actually. I can just drag this around. Why is it so long? Jeez. I'm, I'm gonna. Normally, I would have it on my other screen, but uh, here I just leave it like this for now. So, okay. First, we need to, of course, validate the plan. Need to connect first. I connected to the SIM, validate plan, and file. Okay, seems everything is okay. And now we can request our clearance. Uh, when we set radio to clearance, I of course. Okay, is there no clearance in Innsbruck? I think not. No, there it is. It's there. K 
KLM 149er7 requests ready to copy IFR clearance. KLM 149er7 is clear to Lima India Romeo Foxtrot. Fly the RTT 1 on departure with the RTT transition, then as filed. Expect departure runway 26. Climb to 6,000 feet via the departure. Expect higher clearances two minutes after departure. Squawk 4566. KLM 149er7 is cleared to Lima India Romeo Foxtrot. Fly the RTT 1R departure with the RTT transition, then as filed. Climb to 6,000 feet via the departure. Expect higher clearances two minutes after departure. Squawk 4566. KLM 149er7 rear back correct. Altimeter 3032 let us know when you're ready for pushback. Altimeter 3032 KLM 149er7. Okay, great. So what we have to do here again with the flight plan in... Uh, in our FMC, uh, MCDU, whatever you want to call it. We have to go to flight plan. We have to add our departure. Departure will be runway 26. And RTT one R RTT one R that is and insert. Okay, that made our flight plan. But right, so that's gonna be interesting, alright. And our arrival. So we scroll all the way to arrival. Oops. And our arrival is right to K. Arrival. Uh, actually I chose the uh, RNAV okay so RNAV 7 right to K via CMP yeah I chose that as the transition Let's see what, and that looks yeah that looks about right that looks correct great a few more other things we need to fill out here is our cost index 25 cruise 33,000 feet on this page fill out the fuel so Zero fuel weight will be 77 minus 67, so 71. And the gravity was 19 and a quarter, so 19.3. Oops. 19.3. And the fuel. This is really enough fuel to get to Rome. Oh yeah, I guess we'll find out. Six seven eight. So six point eight. Hi, we just about to set up here, so we're happy for you to close the doors once everyone's on board. Thank you. Now in performance we're gonna take off with flap one. Okay, great. We're all So we still have people coming in.
Okay, so we're pretty much done here. Great. I'll just wait for the rest of the guys to come in. What time should we depart? In less than two minutes. And there's still like 25 of them to get in. Okay. Put the APU on. Oh, so that's a great thing about this plugin if you use it with uh, self loading cargo, you can open the doors because. In order for the self-loading cargo people to get on the airplane, the doors have to be open, and that stupid thing didn't want to come over. I, I don't even want to click it again, just leave it. So I wouldn't be able to open the door. But, uh, yeah. Okay. 12 more people to get on so we can ask I guess for our product clearance and get some taxi instruction KLM 149er7 ready to taxi KLM 149er7 taxi to runway 265 taxiways Lima Bravo hold short runway 26 Taxi to runway 26 via taxiways Lima, Bravo, hold short runway 26 KLM 149 or 7. Okay, four more people to get on the airplane and we can cross the door and get out. I wish I could make that a little bit smaller, but... <laughs> Okay, so it tells us everybody's on board, you can close the door. Gonna tell me it's okay. You are clear behind and you can start your engines at your discretion. Is disconnected and the equipment is clear. We will see you on the right hand side with the pin. 
Thanks, and you can disconnect and go to hand signals. Thanks. Have a good flight. See you later. Ladies and gentlemen, please give your attention to the safety video which will now be shown. Thank you. During takeoff and landing, ensure that your tray table is stuck. No, it's not away. Singapore Airlines, but put whatever. the back of your seat upright and keep your shoes on. Before we take off, stow your luggage under the seat in front of you or in the overhead compartments. Our engines are started. Flaps for takeoff. APU can go off. Make sure that your seat belt is securely fastened during taxi, takeoff, and landing. To fasten, bring the two ends of the seat belt together until you hear a click. Tighten it by pulling on the strap. To unfasten, lift the metal flap. We recommend keeping your seat belt fastened throughout the flight. Whenever the seat belt sign is turned on, infants should be lifted from the bassinet and secured with an infant seat belt. If there is a change in cabin pressure, an oxygen mask will automatically drop in front of you. Pull the mask down sharply. Place it over your mouth and nose. Pull the lateral straps to tighten it and breathe as usual. Secure your mask first before helping others. It is normal for the bag to not fully inflate. There are several emergency exits in this aircraft. Take a few moments now to locate your nearest exit, which may be behind you. Count the rows of seats to the closest exit in front and behind you. In the unlikely event of an emergency or when you hear the command, brace, brace. Assume the brace position. If you can reach the seat in front of you, lower your head and place it on the back of the front seat. Place your hands on top of your head. Keep your feet flat on the floor and heels towards your seat. If you can't reach the seat in front of you, lower your head and lean forward as far as you can. Place your hands on top of your head. In an emergency evacuation, floor level lighting will lead you to your nearest exit. Before using an evacuation on. slide, remove any high-heeled shoes and be sure to leave everything behind. Head attendants, please be seated for departure. Vest, remove it from the plastic cover and slip it over we your head. Pass the straps around your waist, connect the clip and pull to tighten. Inflate the light vest by pulling the red tabs of the light into the mouth. Light vest, have a whistle and a light to attract attention. Special life vests are available for children. Inflate your life vest only at the exit door and step into the raft. KLM 149R7 ready for departure runway 26. Life vests Allocated Can under or between your seats. Seven backtrack runway two six winds are light and variable cleared for takeoff. Runway All large electronic four, devices four, five, such six, as laptops six. must be stowed for taxi, takeoff, and, for and landing. Two six walking four five six six KLM one four nine or seven. During these times, charging your electronic devices is also not allowed. Nobody coming over from either side. If you're not using good. your device, oh, there's somebody it must coming. be held in your hand or placed oh, in the seat good. pocket in front of you. If your device drops <laughs> into the bed between like. the seats, refrain from adjusting the seat and ask the cabin crew for assistance. Crash! It's getting burned over there. All right. We remind you that this is a non-smoking flight. Smoking, including the charging and use of e-cigarettes is prohibited throughout the aircraft, including the lavatories. Thank you for your attention. Refer to the safety card located in the seat pocket in front of you for more information.
On behalf of Singapore Airlines, we hope you have a great time on board as well as in Singapore or anywhere else in the world we take you. One of these days I'm gonna I'm gonna edit those wave files so it doesn't say Singapore but just generic whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, the cabin lights will be deep for takeoff. Thank you. Okay, Come on flight director. All the lights I think are set and to go. Yeah, this is uh, kamikaze then. Missed us, cool, kind of. prefer to do it manually here because I don't trust the autopilot uh, all right let's see what autopilot does KLM 14907 contact VNA center on 124.4 have a good one Center on 124.4 KLM 149 or 7. Center KLM 149 or 7 climbing to 6,000 feet. KLM 149 or 7, good morning. Radar contact. Uh, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna slam into that mountain. Pilot in command, I got it. I got it to that. Sorry. Too low, gear. Too low. KLM 14907 climb and maintain low, flight level gear. 130. Too low, gear. Climb Too and low, maintain flight gear. level 130 KLM 14907. close it wasn't probably a perfect departure uh, but I have no idea how it should departure in that case but uh, whatever KLM 149 or 7 climb and maintain flight level 130. Climb and maintain flight level 130 KLM 149 or 7. Okay. KLM one four nine or seven expedite climb to flight level one three zero. Expedite climb to flight level one three zero KLM one four nine or seven.
Yes, yes, we're getting there, getting there. So probably I had some people shed their pants on the takeoff, but uh, I think we're okay now. I'm actually so happy to have been there. It's it's really beautiful place. I went on a trip. I was going somewhere through here, then we went over there, something something. And I think we returned somehow through here. KLM 149 or 7 contact Milan Center on 124.9 or 2. Have a good morning. Center on 124.9 or 2. KLM 149 or 7. Ladies and gentlemen, the fasten seat belt sign is on. Center, KLM Please remain seated. When the captain turns the sign off, you'll be able to move about the cabin. When you are in your seat, please keep your seat belt fastened in the event of unexpected turbulence. Please be careful when opening the overhead compartments. We ask that you use the lavatories located in your cabin, and please don't stand near the lavatories in the galleys. You may now use all approved personal electronic devices. For everyone's safety, please make sure your personal belongings are clear of the aisle. Please to offer personal device entertainment on our United Private Screenings option, sponsored by the United Plus Explorer card. On-demand movies. In the seat back in front of you. If you need to have a headset, we'll be happy to provide one once the captain lets the flight crew get it from our jump seat. It's available on this flight after you connect to the United Wi Fi network. KLM Go to unitedwifi.com. You can access united.com and the United app free of charge where you can check flight status and more. To use other apps and websites, you can purchase an internet access plan. We will be serving a variety of complimentary drinks, wines, craft beer, and other alcoholic beverages for purchase. In United Economy, a variety of snack boxes and refreshments are available to purchase, as well as freshly prepared meals from our Bistro onboard menu. You can find more details about the menu in the back of Hemispheres magazine or the Seatback Guide. We accept most major debit and credit cards, including those with a Visa, MasterCard, Discover, or American Express logo, as well as the Mileage Plus Explorer Visa card. We now invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the service on today's flight. Let us know if there's anything we can do to make your flight more comfortable. Okay, and let's, uh, yeah, it's holding to the flight, but it's pretty nice. Cool. much to do now other than enjoy the scenery and let's see how the people are doing so satisfaction for the most part there's some unhappy people I guess the green ones are happy the closer to red they're not so happy nobody necessarily scared everybody yeah.
Okay, so we just begin our descent, our final uh, descent to uh, Rome. Not much from ADC other than a clearance to just descend through the uh, arrival route and transition, not much. See how the flight. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned on the seatbelt sign. Please fasten your seatbelt as soon as possible. And passengers at like 90 percent then i started descending and i really wasn't doing nothing crazy but uh yeah they weren't very happy about it it says in health that they don't feel very good maybe that's why i don't know maybe it was too fast for them so like okay whatever guys does anybody need a bathroom let's check this Need toilet. Oh, this guy needs a toilet. <laughs> He's so screwed. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna remove the seat belts for now because we still got lots of time. Let him go to the toilet if he needs to. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned off the seat belt sign, so you are free to move about the cabin. KLM 1497 descend via the CMP transition to 4,000 feet. Descend to 4,000 feet via the CMP transition. KLM 1497. KLM 1497 slow to 210 knots or less. Wilco KLM 1497. Is that guy gonna go to the bathroom? Because if not, uh, no, he, he's not going anywhere. He's like scared or something. I don't know. Well, if he's not going to the bathroom, then uh, well, too bad. No more bathroom breaks. Almost there, as you can see. Just make that curve. Come through, please. Prepare the coming for my landing. Yeah, I'm gonna land pretty much manually. Uh, 
DFR because that runway doesn't have ILS. So that's not an option. Now we're gonna see how that works out. Obviously if you're watching this then it was okay because if it's uh if it's not okay, well obviously I'm not gonna post it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, preparation for landing. Please restore any items that you may have taken out. We'll be collecting all remaining service items or any other items that you may wish to discard. Present to send out for collection. If you use a large electronic device, now's a good time to start winding down on your activities. On those devices, we'll be asking you to turn them off in just a few moments. We'll be collecting all remaining service items. Please, thank you. KLM 1497 altimeter 3030 at Fiume Mycino contact tower on 118.7. Enjoy your afternoon. Altimeter 3030 tower on 118.7 KLM 1497. Tower KLM 1497 inbound for RNAV approach runway 07. KLM 1497 good afternoon. Radar contact. Continue the nave to runway 07 call when established on final. Continue our NAV to runway 07 will call when established on final KLM 1497. just jump in here we will have to uh, say something so we will actually have to say that or they will not give us uh, clearance I'm just gonna have her say. Or actually, I'm gonna say. You yeah, shall see what happens. I'm not really established, but. KLM 1497 established on final for Arnav approach runway 07. KLM 1497 winds are 047 at 6 knots clear to left runway 07. Clear to land runway 07 KLM 1497. Okay, so there is our runway and Yeah, this is 
decide to totally manual Kind of see the puppy lights and we're a little high. Wasn't too bad. I think I broke a sweat. Firm landing. Oh, there we go. You must have some. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated until the aircraft has arrived at the gate. You are reminded that all electronic devices should remain turned off until you are in the terminal building. Thank you. Alright, so it wasn't a bad flight. Landing was decent, takeoff was a little scary. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I guess we can turn off the landing lights now. I need that. Turn off the strobes. Is it? Oh, get the seat by so the guys can get out. I wonder if our all logbook is gonna open or no. Nah. Yeah, the logbook is screwed up.
So it wasn't too bad, wasn't too bad, and we can just uh, deport everybody right away. Okay, have them guys come over to take the baggage. And when, when the catering guy opens that door, that's nice, because then they're gonna get out through both doors, so they will get out a little bit faster. See, it's open, now they're getting out here, they're going into the... <laughs> going, they're going to the catering truck. <laughs> no masses. <laughs> there you go, so those are passengers going to the catering truck, and these guys are going out through the gate, but they can leave nice and quick this way. All right, let's check out the report. View flight report. B plus. Oh, okay. Well, they actually less happy, but it was a good flight. I mean, blah 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 blah. So we arrived on time. Actually, not bad. Not bad. Oh, that's a clinic, lady. Seriously, <coughs> so loud. Yeah, I, I did forget it was a little late with that. Alright, so that's all that's to it. It was a nice flight. I had worse. Uh, it's all my previous flights, so I had a C, I had an F once even, B. So B plus, it's, it's not bad, it's not bad actually. I'm happy. It was a nice flight. No crash to desktop. Autopilot behaved pretty much nice all the way. And yeah. 